Oh, that was a duck. Sometimes you think you'll have a jug. It's just a, it's like a teal or a duck or something. They'll duck under the water. They'll, yep, there he goes. No, that's a jug. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Where'd it go? There it goes. Oh my gosh, this, this thing's a huge one. All right. Oh, no. He snatched that thing about five feet under. I can't even see the jug now. In Alabama, they let you have one catfish 36 inches or greater per day. I generally, if they're 30, 30 inches or more, I'll put them back. That's why we're going to switch to these. Hydrodynamic drag. You just cannot pull that under. Oh, my, there he is. It's going to be a heck of a fight, fellas. Now, we was out here. He done moved, he done moved 30 yards. All oh, we got is 30-pound line. Oh, come on. Time to check the oil again because that's what it is. Oh, he's, oh, I hope he doesn't get any of these rocks. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fella! We done got a hog. I saw it. <laughs> I hope he ain't come off. I told you it's big blue cat season. We're in these rocks, there's a little outcropping right here. We're gonna see just how well this, this hook can do as well. Alright, motor's dead. I hope I don't swamp the boat. That's what I'm hoping not to do. Berkeley big game. Ha 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 ha. Handline, baby. Big one. Come on, quick. Got a little bit further out. So I know how to fight him with this light line. It's just not—it's not hard to me. I'm just used to it. Oh! This ain't gonna work. Ah. This ain't gonna work. But the wind's wanting to push us to the bank. Problem now is that that. Hook is starting to begin to start working it loose. He eventually get off when we keep this up. We gotta land him and land him fast. Working the day, boy! A little bit further. The triple threat swivel is holding too, you know. Alright, let's see if we can't land him. I just hope they don't go opening that daggum dock up. Fella, I don't know if I can get him in the boat. <laughs> Buddy, you got to help me now. I'm gonna let you go. I ain't gonna eat you. You got to help me now, buddy. You got to help me. You got to help me. You got to help me. I can't. I can't pick him up. Hey, fella, I'm getting slimed. Okay. Okay. That's about best I can do on pictures. We're gonna let you go, buddy. I know you're hot. I know you're tired. Catman hooks. Black Warrior lures. You wanna try them? I'll, I'll send three of them out to you for you to try. And you can catch something like this. I don't even have my tape measure. I ain't gonna even try. That's all I got. <laughs> Let's let him go. Yeah, there he goes. We're gonna let him go. Now, why didn't I eat that, catch that fish to eat? That's my personal best, to be honest with you. That's the kind of fish you wanna keep in the gene pool so he can keep on breeding. And you don't wanna eat a fish that big anyway. When I tell you, that these hooks are as strong as an eight alt hook. That kind of fish, most guys are using eight and 10 alt hooks. You don't need to. I, this four alt hook is as thick as an eight alt hook. So, and it caught him and it held him and no problem. 
with 30 pound line on a jug and I'm fighting him with my own hands. I don't have all this heavy duty gear and it just works. And that fish had a nice healthy head on him, a nice strong thick body, a nice fat gut. He's been eating black warrior lures. You can get them on Amazon if you want them. That's the cheapest on the shipping. I'm slimed. Didn't have any problem holding that fish. Not only that, but I was pulling him against the motor, running at idle speed, trying to pull him back out. And you see it didn't have any problem holding that fish. So I don't know if you need more proof than that. I mean, you can catch some trophy fish with, with those hooks. That's definitely, that video is definitely going to be on the website. Ha <laughs> ha!